Padam Shri Ram Nath Shastri, known as the father of Dogri, for his pivotal role in the revival and resurgence of the Dogri language, was born on 15 April 1914. He was a versatile and prolific literateur who excelled as Dogri poet, dramatist, fiction writer, lexicographer, essayist, educationist, translator, and editor. Through his writings in the various genres he has succeeded in or sharing Dogri language on the national stage. In 2001, he was awarded the Sahitya Akademi Fellowship, awarded by the Sahitya Akademi, India's National Academy of Letters, the highest literary honour conferred by the Government of India. Topic Early life and career Professor Shastri's father, Ved Gauri Shankar, was an Ayurvedic doctor and originally belonged to a small village Mari in Risi Tessel of Udhampur district, now Risi district For better prospects, he moved to Jammu. Initially, he wanted Ram Nath to adopt the same profession and instructed him to learn Sanskrit. All ancient scriptures being in Sanskrit, it would be immensely helpful as an Ayurvedic doctor. He joined Ranbir Sanskrit Pathshala at the Ranbir High School. After which, he did post-graduation in Sanskrit and Prabhakar in Hindi. He started his career as a high school Sanskrit teacher for five years and later he became a college lecturer. In 1944, on the day of Basant Panchami, along with a few friends, he established the Dogri Sanstha. Every upcoming writer in the Dogri language would first enroll himself in the Sanstha. Dogri is highly indebted to Professor Ram Nath Shastri, who is always giving it his paternal blessings. He also edited the Dogri literary periodical Nami Chetna of the Sanstha. In 1970, on the occasion of the Silver Jubilee celebration of Dogri Sanstha, he edited the Rajat Janti Granth in which research-oriented articles on Dogra life, art, culture, literature and history were put together. In 1970, he retired as a professor in the J&K State Education Department. From 1970 to 1975 he has been a senior fellow of Dogri in the University of Jammu. From 1977 to 1985, as chief editor in J&K Cultural Academy he edited the Dogri, Dogri Dictionary which is regarded as a monumental addition to the development of the Dogri language for J&K Cultural Academy. He died on 8 March 2009, in Jammu. <laughs> <laughs> Literary achievements Professor Shastri began his literary career with the writing of Hindi short stories and essays as Dogri was more of a regional local language with insignificant literary history. Later, he resolved to be at the forefront of the Dogri literacy movement. Later, in 1943 he along with his fellow writers, switched over to writing in his mother tongue Dogri, giving impetus to the spirit of renaissance in the community to recognize and appreciate the beauty of their language he has contributions in different genres to his credit and he worked tirelessly to promote the Dogri language. Professor Shastri presented an ideology that he believed in, shunning old and outdated values and embracing values like fairness, equality and individual heroism. His writings have undercurrents of satire and irony as he exposes the double standards of our society. He always placed emphasis on writing biographies of Dogri heroes, who challenged establishment and followed a track unvisited by others. When asked to write his own autobiography, he was hesitant as his humility would pose a major hurdle in doing so. <laughs> major literary works include Dardi Da Rin is a collection of poems he wrote over a 35-year period. Badnami D. Chan collection of Dogri short stories. 1976 Takian, a collection of Dogri ghazals Kalamkar Sharan Singh, critical study of a Dogri poet Naman Grand Dogri play with co-authors Dinu Bai Pant and Ram Kumar Abral Bawa Jito, a Dogri play based on the life and sacrifice of a legendary Dogra hero. Joktian Kiran, Dogri one act play. Dugar Dalok Nayak, an account of Dogri. Topic: <laughs> Major translation works include. He translated array of prominent works in Dogri to further Dogri language, including six Upanishads. Bartraris's Niti Shatak, Shudraka's Marichakadikam, 
Four short plays of Bhasa Rabindranath Tagore's Gitanjali, Baladin, Malini and Dakgar Mahatama Gandhi's autobiography My Experiments with Truth Vinoda Bhavi's Gita Pravachan C. Rajagopalachari's Ramayana Dharamvir Bharati's Andha Yuga Gorky's Lower Depths Some quotes, couplets On the last day of the high school wrote parting message on classroom blackboard Alvida I karma man Alvida A flat dua high fear na le yan kuda Adieu. My classroom, I hope God does not bring me back here again. Talkhiyan collection of Dogri Ghazals Dharm de na cha ina kura Ki nei isi tili lagande so much rubbish in the name of religion, why don't you just forget it? Changa I K Marha Hai, Gian B Hai, Kurdar Mara I. Good or bad, this character is at least mine. Topic honors, awards 2001-59 Th Sahitya Akademi Fellowship Highest Literary Honor conferred by the Government of India for his contribution to Dogri Language 1990, Padma Shri Award, India's fourth highest civilian honor for literature and education 1994, D. Lit. Honoris Causa from University of Jammu 1977, Sahitya Akademi Award for his short story collection, Badnami D. Chan 1991, State Akademi Award for the collection of Dogri Gazals, Talkhiyan 1989, Sahitya Akademi Translation Prize in 1989 for the Dogri translation of the Sanskrit drama, Murashakadika as Midi D. Gadi, 1981, State Academy Award for his Dogri prose work, Duggar Dalok Nayak. His happiest moment Describing central government's decision to include Dogri in the eighth schedule of the constitution in December 2003, as the happiest moment of his life, Ram Nath Shastri, said, This has ended the long struggle of the Dogri-speaking people for a rightful place for their language. Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee has fulfilled his promise to Jamuts. Other writers' comments Ramnath Rath, an eminent Oriya poet and president of Sahitya Akademi says, There are few in India and elsewhere in the world who excel in so many areas of literature. Eminent Dogri literature Padma Sachdev says, Professor Ramnath Shastri is the Bharatandu Harish Chandra of Dogri. There is not a single person, who is writing in Dogri now has not been influenced by him not a single word is there in Dogri on which his stamp has not been registered. <laughs>